guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. I hope you guys are liking Vlogmas so far. It's almost over. That makes me so sad because I really, really do love filming videos for you guys. But I'm so excited for today's video because today I'm going to be comparing two very similar hair tools. I'm going to be curling my hair with the Beach Waver on one side and then this one from Chi that is exactly like the same thing. It's crazy. By the way, this video is sponsored by Ana Luisa Jewelry. Thank you so much Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. I love working with them and I can just keep working with them because I just love their jewelry. So these earrings are from Ana Luisa. They are so cute. Um, these are some very like thick hoop earrings. I love hoop earrings. I have some other ones that I use all the time from their brands as well. So yeah, they sent me these hoop earrings and then they sent me this one. This is the Michelle earring that goes with the necklace that they sent me last time their jewelry is coated in real gold so it's like very nice quality it lasts a very long time their jewelry is like always super shiny and it just looks so dainty elegant and beautiful so yeah these are the michelle earrings absolutely love them last time i got this michelle layered necklace and i was like you know what let me get the earrings this time because it will look so cute together. I'm not joking when I say that I only wear Ana Luisa jewelry because their stuff is just so beautiful. As you can see, this is the necklace, the Michelle necklace, and then these are the matching earrings. So this is the Cardi necklace and it's so beautiful. I love that this is kind of like a moon and it has like a little star right here. So it's just so adorable. I am going to use this all the time. And I might even wear it with like these hoop earrings that I think go very well with this necklace. As you can see, it kind of has like that same vibe going on. I'm loving it. I think that any jewelry that you get from Ana Luisa would be an amazing Christmas gift. So if you guys want to check out their website and their jewelry, I'm going to link everything down below. So yeah, thank you Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. I love their stuff and I love working with them and I promise you guys you will love their jewelry as well. So I'm going to part my hair into two sections. I'm going to start curling my hair. I'm going to use this heat protectant from Chi. I love it. I feel like it really does protect my hair from the heat. I'm going to use my Julie brush to detangle my hair. I never really did a beach waver video on my channel. I'm going to do 410 by the way. I never really did a beach waver video on my channel because I've tried this hair tool before for a modeling job. And even though it's like super easy to curl your hair with this tool, the curls didn't last me a very long time. But yeah, maybe if I use a higher heat setting and if I leave each section on the hair tool for a little bit longer, then the curls will last a little bit longer. So I'm going to try that and let's see how that works. So basically, you just place the ends of your hair right here on the clamp and then you click the button that is away from your face. So for this side, I'm going to click this button. So this one is more away from my face. So, if you have layers, you might not love this hair tool because when you grab your ends, the layers do kind of like fall before you get to curl it. So, there you go. Super easy to use, not scary at all. Okay, so I'm going to release the curl. It's been about 10 seconds. Very nice, beautiful curl, very easy to do. So I'm gonna click the home button so that this goes back to the center and it's easier for me to like know which button to press. So the Beach Waver has an option where you can put either fast or slow speed. So right now I'm gonna put slow speed so you guys can see how that works. And then the other section I'm going to use the fast speed. like that very easy to use not scary at all okay i'm gonna release the curl and there you have it so now i'm gonna do the fast speed so you guys can see how that works it's not that big of a difference i feel like it's almost the same thing honestly <laughs> um they both feel just fine i didn't get scared with this one either it's not like it's running to my face you know okay i'm gonna release the curl beautiful okay 
So I'm gonna do this side and I'll be back with the final look on this side. Alright guys, I'm all done with this side, with the beach waver side. As you can see, I got some beautiful curls. I love this heat setting, the 410 degrees Fahrenheit heat setting because it curled my hair so quickly and it gave me some very tight curls. It took me only 15 minutes to do this side, which is not bad, so that means it'll take me like 30 minutes to do all my hair with this hair tool. So I'm going to rotate this in the fast speed so you guys can see how it rotates. So that's fast. And then this is slow. I guess it is a little bit slower. Even the sound is different. That's fast, slow. So yeah, that's cool that it does have different speeds. I do know that the Chi does not have that, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so now let's move on to the Chi side. By the way, this video is not sponsored. These tools were not sent to me. I bought these with my money <laughs> and they are a little bit pricey. The beach waver is $130 and then the chi is about $100. So yeah, they are a little bit pricey. So I put it up to 410 degrees Fahrenheit and let's do this section. I'm going to actually divide this in two sections. So you are supposed to get bigger curls with this hair tool. So that's cool. I mean, at least now I have two different hair tools that are not exactly the same, you know, so I can kind of use them in different ways so clicking the button that is away from my face and i'm just gonna leave it there for a little bit this one beeps okay so it's ready that was too soon though but i guess i'll release the curl oh that's a beautiful curl that's very nice. I do see more smoke coming out of this one. And I do feel like when this brings my hair in, it does kind of pull it a little bit more than the Beach Waver. But it's not like uncomfortable. But the Beach Waver does feel a little bit more gentle. So, also I'm having the same issue with the other side. The layers are kind of like falling. So that means I'm going to have to do the layers separately. If you like having beeps then you're gonna like this hair tool because it kind of lets you know when the curls are ready and they really are ready i mean they look super nice so i'm gonna start the timer when i am done with this little section so you guys can see how long it takes me to do this side for some reason i feel like it's gonna be quicker than the other side because the beeps will kind of like help me do it quicker and not leave the curl on the hair tool for too long because on this side, I was leaving it on the hair tool for like quite some time. So yeah, there you have it. These are the curls that you get. As you can see, they are like a little bit more loose than this side, I think, right? So I'm going to start the timer on the cheese side and let's see how long it takes me to do this side. Hey guys, so I'm all done with the cheese side. So this is what the cheese side looks like. These curls don't look that big. I feel like they're almost like the same size as the beach waver side. But yeah, this is the beach waver side. I still have some very nice defined curls. And this is the cheese side. Also super nice. It actually only took me 11 minutes to do the cheese side. 
so that is very very fast in 20 minutes i can basically do all my hair i do feel like the cheek gets super hot i mean i use the same heat setting but you can definitely see a lot more smoke coming out of the hair tool and that scares me a little bit i did feel like the chi kind of pulled my hair a little bit more when i was like bringing the hair in i do feel like the beach waver brings in the hair a little bit slower and more gentle the chi is a little bit faster and it almost like Pulls your hair a little bit so it's not like too gentle i'm gonna do a one hour wear test now so it is 2 30 right now i'll be back at 3 30 and i'll show you guys how each side is looking and let's see if there's one side that falls quicker than the other one hey guys so it's been an hour as you can see it's 3 30 and my hair still looks really nice so this is the beach waver side as you can see, the curls are pretty defined. But yeah, I really like this side. And then this is the chi side. The curls actually look really nice. Also on the chi side. Um, which side do you guys like better? Do you like the beach waver side better? Or do you like the chi side better? Let me know in the comments down below. I think both of them look really nice, honestly. Like, I like both of them. I do feel like this side, the beach waver side, looks a little bit more poofy. Do you guys see that? Like, it looks a little bit more poofy. You see all that, like, poofiness and frizziness right there. And then this side is, like, a little bit less frizzy, in my opinion. I mean, what do you guys think? Which side do you like better? I always like seeing what you guys think in the comments down below. So make sure that you comment and let me know which side you prefer. I do feel like this is pretty heavy, though, compared to this one. This one does feel lighter. And this one does pull my hair a little bit more than the beach waver. I feel like overall the beach waver is more gentle on my hair. I just feel like this tool, the beach waver, is like more smooth. I was able to curl my hair a lot quicker with the chi side, so I did like that. I got some very nice curls super quickly. And so the clamp is bigger, so you can grab more hair than the beach waver. As you can see, it's a lot bigger. I'm going to add a little bit of this Kerastase oil on my hair just to kind of help with the flyaways a little bit and make sure that everything looks more smooth. And I'm gonna run my fingers through my curls just to make everything look more natural. As you can see, the oil instantly gave my hair more shine. I am like obsessed with this oil, it's so good. I know it's kind of pricey, but it's so worth it. I am gonna try to find some alternatives and maybe something a little bit more affordable. So I'm gonna try some new oils, stay tuned, but this Kerastase one is so nice. You really only need a little bit, like a little bit goes such a long way. It smells amazing and it leaves my hair so soft. I love it so much. So yeah, this is what my hair looks like. I actually really like it. I feel like both sides look like almost the same. <laughs> what do you guys think? But anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you again, Ana Luisa, for sponsoring this video. Check out their stuff down below. I'm gonna link everything down below if you guys wanna check out their jewelry. I love their stuff and I love working with them. Like. I really, really do love working with them. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below which side you liked better. And I'll see you guys in my next video, which is actually tomorrow. Mwah. Love you guys so much. See you guys tomorrow.